Hadouken. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to a special episode. I'm doing uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4 replays. I just recently came back to the, well, to the Street Fighter series, and uh, I'm kind of rusty at the moment. I decided to pick up Ken. As I find these changes, uh, you know, they benefit me a lot more. So he's like more of a rush down, heavy knockdown. And oh, I find this match so hard, especially in Shoto favor. You know, trying to get in to Dalsim, and it's, the connection wasn't great, so couldn't really do that much. I tried to react on things, and I thought that that would hit twice. I should have done a single uh, light show you can. But it's just quite hard to get in on Dalsim, I find, especially with his stretchy limbs and his like every Dalsim throws. Oh man, I'm trying to close down with the uh, you know forward medium kick as well as air tatsus. I had to play really patiently here. And yeah, wake up grab. Predicted that. This Dalsim was actually. It was alright, like, I didn't really do too well against him, in my opinion. Like, this is my first match of the day, and I don't know why I did that. I'm just trying to, like, uh, medium DP, that teleport, and reaction, but like, it just didn't come out. And I'm just getting hit by everything here. Man, <laughs> so disgraceful. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Yeah, you see, I tried to do a um, sure you can to react. You can see in my inputs, but it didn't it didn't come out. So I was kind of disappointed with that. I even got perfected by Dalsim. <laughs> mm. uh, oh yeah, one thing that I really like about Ken now is uh, you know how fast his sweep is and his walk speed's been increased. And. Um, Oh yeah, the only thing that I really don't like is his, uh, like, how far his uh, air tatsu goes, like the direction of it. Like if you do it too early, he just ends up spinning in the air singly, like an EX one, sorry. The normal one's fine, I, think. I haven't really done that much with a normal one. It's Kara throw is just as good as always, and there's my setup. It's kind of tricky that. After a throw, you walk, take a few steps back with a light crouching light kick, and then you do a uh, jump in heavy punch. It acts as like a cross up, but it's not. It hits from the front, and a lot of people get confused by that. Can't take throws online. That's what I really hate. <laughs> oh, uh, the reason why I do that uh, setup is because uh, normally I do a light tatsu, and it normally crosses up but it's quite hard to like connect onto another move so uh, and a lot of people like predict that you know it's the cross up so I try and fake it out every so often and here's my next match against Chun Li didn't really have that many points but you know uh, points are deceiving the veterans now that play this game I don't think there's anyone like new to the game because you know someone wouldn't just pick up Ultra and be like, oh, it's a new game. Oh, as you can see, I did that setup again. That's the main reason why I uploaded this replay. <laughs> oh, uh, in Ultra Street Fighter 4 as well, I've sort of dropped a few characters. Mainly Seth, like, it's my main character in AE and Super, and in this edition, you know, oh, he's just been nerfed to hell, you know, people would be like, oh, don't complain, because he's such an overpowered character, but that's, I think that's absolute bullshit, you have to work so hard for your wins as Seth, oh, poor guy, um, yeah, I would have been fine with his changes, you know, like his uh, cross-up heavy kick's been taken out. But, since they've taken that out, I would have been happy with the uh, jump back heavy punch, you know, stretchy arms, like it had in Super. Originally that was, you know, due to come back in, in um, Ultra, but it seems they've taken it out. 
and I'm really disappointed with that. And also the uh, the triangle angle jump, the wall jump, that's been changed as well, so he doesn't go like full screen anymore. He goes like three quarters screen, which is uh, makes it harder to get in, I find. So you know he's got a really shit cross up now. Oh, new set, safe. It's not a new set. It's just a safe jump from a heavy kick. I, I mean, a throw. And here I am, I'm just like, the connection's not great, so I haven't been like anti airing him properly. But I've been trying. And it worked there. <laughs> I always like, uh, you know, try and predict that a lot of Chun Li's would just do a lot of EX spinning bird kicks and wake up. So annoying. I don't know why I didn't do the, uh, the safe jump setup for this. But you know, because of delayed wake up, it makes it really hard to use uh, safe jumps, I find. Uh, good game to him. Oh, here's a Hugo. I find that oh, Hugo is quite difficult to fight against. He's so big, and you know, his hitbox is outrageously strange. And his animations don't really suit this game, I find. But uh, oh, I didn't know how to fight a Hugo playing as Ken. I only fight them as like Yun when I'm playing. And, oh, and Yun and Seth. You know, so I'm just trying to space him out as much as I can here. You know, he's trying to absorb a few fireballs, trying to jump over them. Just trying to mix them up between EX and normal version. So here I'm just. Oh, I'm just expecting him to do an SPD on Wake Up or like whenever he's close. Because that's what they normally do. I'm just trying to space him out here. So it's quite lame of me, but you know, at least I'm winning. <laughs> yep, and I'm expected to wake up. Yeah, ultra. Pretty for that. And if he did the. I think if he did the EX wake up there, the air grab, it might have got my tattoo, I'm not sure. But he did the light version, so it didn't work against me. Mm, he is like, okay, he's getting, he's getting really bad. He's gonna come in for it. <laughs> so I'm just uh, trying to keep up the pressure and the spacing. Yeah, here's where I picked up. A lot of Hugos do a, uh, you know, EX jump grab, like on Wake Up. And this bit, I didn't know that it's a true block string. So I tried mashing out to see if it would work, but it didn't. And that's my own fault there. So, you know, I need to block in the future. <laughs> yeah, I predicted EX wake up, so, you know, I spaced it correctly so I could do an ultra on reaction. No guilt. Overhead. He could have killed me with the ultra, but instead he threw me, so I was really lucky. And here again, I try to mash, so I'm like, no, I can't mash. <laughs> And just take it safe. I knew that you know if I tried pressing another like light punch, it might have whiffed there after the uh, forward medium kick, and I would have been caught in it like a power driver or something. So I decided to just show you can you know, even a throw is risky. So that was a good game. I really enjoyed that one. I don't normally do like zoning games, so I'm normally a rushed out guy, <laughs> especially with Ken. Hmm. This Ryu. I'm not too oh yeah, yeah. It's, I don't know. I like. I don't know why. I keep losing against the Scrubs online, and oh man, it just frustrates me. They all mash. The thing is, you can't play like this offline. If they stood right next to you and they're like playing like this, you know, they don't stand a chance. So it kind of frustrates me that I lose against players that you know play like this. So now, from this point, I sort of started to uh, disrespect people. You know, I know he's gonna do a wake up, I know he's gonna mash. Like, I know everyone's going to mash online. It doesn't matter, they've got nothing to lose. It's not like it's a money match or anything, so. You know, they play so disrespectfully. So I just decided to do the same. Uh, that's supposed to be a sure you can. Yeah, you know, I know that he's gonna mash here, as you can see his inputs. I can just see it. Yep, 
Let's get it. Let's get hit by that one, though. Hmm. Turbo, maybe? I'm not too sure. Well, anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm really disappointed with Seth's changes. Although he's got new combo potential, which is sweet, like his uh, crouching medium punch. You know, it's, it can lead on to like a standing heavy punch, or it can lead on to a light punch into another crouching medium punch, which is sweet. Yeah, this guy I saw red and lucky punch. So. Yeah, so I'm just really disappointed with Seth, but I do still play him. I went to the arcade in London actually recently, the Las Vegas Arcade Soho. Um, yeah, it's like near Chinatown and stuff, and I just went to explore it. And it was really fun. The first day it was dead, there was no one there. But, you know, that's expected as it's only arcade edition there, there's no Ultra. But uh, on my second day that I was there, I met quite a few players. They're all really good as well, really experienced. There was no one that was like a noob. I didn't manage to record the footage, um, but like, it was great, and you know, I got to meet a lot of players. It's really nice. Oh yeah, this Ryu. I sort of started panicking, I was like, wait a minute. It's got more points than I have, but then again, points don't really mean anything to me. <laughs> I don't know why I like panic about this stuff. You know, I'm trying to play a bit more safer, but at the same time, I know he's going to play Scrubby. Oh yeah, walk up with her. Expecting me to wake a PP there. Nope! Just do it. Yeah, I wasn't too happy with his performance there. I expected him to do a lot of mashing, you know. A lot of online scrubs do it. The thing is though, when you play online, you're gonna play so differently. When you're offline, it's great, you know. You can do shit, things are safe, there's no lag. I don't really know what he's going for there. But, you know, I'm just trying to anti air him as much as possible. Yeah. It's supposed to be a uh, DP, but I messed up the input there. You know, here! I thought I had it in the bag. <laughs> but, just as you see, I get hit by everything, I'm just mashing here. You know, I decide to play like a scrub, and it just doesn't work out for me. I thought he would like, you know, do a uh, crouching medium kick so I could clip him with the EX Shoryuken. But you know, <laughs> you saw a thought it coming, I guess. <clears throat> Got punished for that, so I practically gave it away there, I was a bit frustrated. Yep. Taking him down there. Hmm. Don't know why my Hadouken didn't come out there. Here's where I'm just trying to do max damage. And that's game. Good game to him. <clears throat> I guess, like, in Ultra, you know, there's this tier listed now that's going around. And people are saying that Yun's the number one character. I I disagree with that, you know. In A twenty twelve it's it was so hard to win as him. Um, in this version, you know, he's it's no different. If any you know, his only boss where that his me crouching medium punch does more damage and his command grab does one damage so that it reduces uh, so that it increases damage scaling. Which is fair enough, you know, he does quite a lot of damage and his mix-ups are great. But I don't agree with him being the top tier. Dudley is supposed to be top tier now. So, I'd like to play him, but you know, I don't really, don't really fancy it sometimes. <laughs> I've tried learning a few other characters though, I tried playing Ibuki recently. And that's going well, but the Vortex is kind of difficult to do, especially with delayed wake up now. So. Yeah, I don't think this guy is aware that, um, is it the machine gun blow? The heavy one's not safe. 
so I kind of punish him with that on, with the heavy Shoryuken. Yeah, I was quite scared actually. And I did delayed wake up there, so, so I messed up my timing. Yeah, and that's not safe either. So I, I don't think he was all aware. Yeah, people are going to expect a throw. So <laughs> I just did a heavy shot you can. You know, I had the bars to FADC out of it in case it was, you know, not safe. But I did it anyway. And good game to everyone that I've played today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Peace out.